morning children i am anita ma'am and today we are going to study about dispersal of seeds if all the seeds germinate at the same place close to each other then they will struggle for water food and light to grow so often the seeds are carried away from the mother plant and grow in far areas the process by which seeds get scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal let us learn about the different ways by which seeds get dispersed let us study about dispersal by wind seeds that are light hairy and have parachute or wing like structures are easily scattered by wind for example dandelion now let us study about dispersal by water the seeds of some plants drop into or near water bodies the fibrous coverings of these seeds help them to float and germinate at a different place for example coconut now let us study about dispersal by animals some seeds such as cockleburr and xanthium have sticky or prickly seed coats that stick to the fur of animals these seeds are carried by animals from one place to another and get dropped on the ground later seeds are also dispersed by birds and other animals that eat fruits the undigested seeds pass through their bodies and often end up far from where the birds ate the fruits Now let us study about dispersal by explosion. Some fruits scatter their seeds by exploding. They have pods that burst open when they ripen and forcibly shoots the seeds in all directions. Example: poppy, pea and bean seeds.